How do you transfer the skills that you're working on in practice in a live game? It starts by understanding the science of motor learning. The issue is that most sport coaches, trainers, and athletes don't fully understand this concept to make their practice effective so they can retain their skills and have it transfer in game. So what is motor learning? It's the study of how we gain a skill through practice. Breaking it down further, a skill or game skill is the ability to perform an action with determined result and good execution. A game skill has three parts, reading, planning, and doing. This is all happening in a split second whenever you're performing on the court. Reading means you're figuring out your surroundings. So in this video, Booker is trying to figure out where the defense is positioned, where the basket is located, and all the other things that can prevent him from his goal. Then he has to plan the best approach to executing his skill with high percentage of success, and that can be a whole bunch of options. And now he has to put it all together to do the skill. The same can be said for the defender. Both athletes are in constant reading, planning, and doing. Now that you understand how complex a game skill is, let's talk about the two methods of practice to give yourself the best chance of improving and having no skills show up in game. You need to learn about block and random practice and how to maximize the benefits of both. Block practice is when you do a higher number of repetition of repeating the exact same moves over and over again. For example, Stephen Curry is shooting in the exact same spot with consistent motion. There are no reading and planning, you're just mastering your form and technique. Block practice is best to do in the early stages of development and practice. And there's a saying that goes, don't practice until you get it right, practice until you can't get it wrong. In random practice, this is where all the learning and retention of skill happens. It's when you never do the exact same thing twice, every rep is different which makes it game-like. Common mistake is when you spend too much time in block practice, once you develop a solid foundation of those skills, it's time to emphasize on more random practice. Another mistake is that there's too much interference from coaches trying to correct everything, which leads to you being dependent on the coach. Major key is you need to allow yourself to figure it out and learn from your mistakes. This is what helps us execute our game skills better. Most of these videos are variations of random practice and players are forced to read, plan, and do in different ways. For example, this can be a form of scrimmage variations like one-on-one, three-on-three, five-on-five. You can also do a mixture of both where you set up a drill where the outcome is the same, but the moves to get to that is different. Another example is the outcome that we want is a layup, but we can add a defender or have athletes react to randomize the move prior to the layup. To put it all together, block practice is what you should do to master a technique, but once you develop a good foundation, it's time to move into more random practice to prepare you to perform better in a live game. So let me know what you think below. Make sure you like, follow, and share with a coach and athlete to help them maximize their practice time.